Hi guys, how you doing today? My name is Greg and welcome to day number 19 on this uh, December video adventure. Santa Claus has long been one of the most enduring figures of the Christmas season. But where did this jolly old man <laughs> come from? We're going to look at that today. One of the earliest traditions in which a form of Santa Claus can be seen is in the old Germanic tradition of a mythical being named Odin. And on the winter solstice, which was December the 21st, Odin would fly through the night sky riding a magical eight-legged horse and reward success to some and failure to others. Another basis for the legend comes from the stories of Saint Nicholas, a well-known and popular saint from the fourth century. Amongst the many stories attributed to Saint Nicholas was that he donated a large sum of money to a poor family. But when the poor family refused the money, he tossed it down the chimney However, the largest portion of the Santa Claus legend was given to us by the Dutch tales of Sinterklaas. Sinterklaas is also based on the stories of St. Nicholas. Sinterklaas traditionally visits Dutch children on December the 6th, which is St. Nicholas Day. The character of Sinterklaas arrives on a boat from Spain traditionally wearing a bishop's long red robe. He is usually depicted in having a long white beard. Children generally leave a shoe next to the fireplace with a carrot as a treat for the horse of Center Claus, and then the next morning the carrot is replaced with a present or with sweets. In 1624, when Dutch settlers arrived in New Amsterdam, New York, <laughs> they brought with them the tradition of Sinterklaas. The name eventually became Americanized into Santa Claus. In 1822, Santa gained more of his modern characteristics from a poem written by Clement Moore called A Visit from St. Nicholas, which we recognize as Twas the Night Before Christmas. This poem provided a physical description of Santa Claus, which still exists today. It's been said that books may well be the only true magic. I loved that book, Twas the Night Before Christmas, growing up as a child, and I still love it. There's just something so magical about it. In the 1860s, an artist by the name of Thomas Nast was commissioned by a magazine called Harper's Weekly to draw 33 pictures uh, depicting Christmas. These became the definitive pictures for Santa Claus. The drawings were based on the descriptions of Santa given in Twas the Night Before Christmas. Thomas gave us a new mythical home for Santa, the North Pole, his magical workshop with a staff of elves, and the naughty and nice book. This image was reinforced throughout the 20th century in paintings and advertisements in films and television programs. In 1902, a children's book was written called The Life and Adventures of Santa Claus. That further popularized and cemented in the mind of the American culture the popular idea of Santa and his magical elves. Today, Santa Claus is one of the most popular iconic figures uh, and is recognized throughout the world and children all over uh, go to sleep at night with anticipation that Santa will come the next day. What a wonderful and fun tradition uh, Santa Claus provides for 
Christmas time. Thanks for watching today's video. I learn a lot by researching these things and it's fun. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Have a great day. Bye now.